Hi, so we're talk going to talk about installing Inventor, the education version of Inventor, which is free uh, to use for students and teachers. So, so basically, we're going to search on um, free student um, Inventor in Google. We'll get to this page, then go ahead and click Inventor. If you don't have an account yet, just create one from this page is the best place to do it. There are a couple different types of accounts on Autodesk uh, through the years. They've kind of changed. Um, and the surest way to do it is to create it from this page. So just click create account. Uh, once you've done that, go ahead and sign in. Okay, we've signed in. And once we sign in, we're going to get these options for version, version uh, operating system and language. Okay, I've selected the language and scrolled down so I, so I wouldn't expose the serial numbers that they gave me. Uh, and basically we see file size is 12.26 gigabytes installed to personal devices. Okay, um, and the best way to install this, you have some options. So if you click on install now, basically that's gonna give you the Autodesk downloader that you'll need to uh, install first. And then it will download, same thing with download now. Um, basically it gives you the Autodesk downloader and then browse, but and then browser download actually just launches a, uh, a download in the browser. Okay, so if you can't or don't want to install the Autodesk downloader, you can do that. One thing to be careful of with browser download is it downloads like three files at the same time. Uh, so if you have a pop-up blocker, that might block it in your browser. So just be aware of that. Okay, so basically we'll click download now. And then I already had open our Autodesk download manager installed, so it just basically opens. The nice thing about the Autodesk Download Manager is basically you can kind of leave the browser at that point. Okay, so, so this has already been downloaded and that's what it looks like. Once it's been downloaded, you can just go ahead and click Install. Okay, so that's where we're gonna start off at. Okay, so once I've clicked install, basically, this gets me to the Autodesk installer. Um, if you wanna, if you wanna find, you know, different options and stuff, you can do that. But just, uh, if you're just going for the basic install, just go ahead and click install. Uh, you accept the license agreement. And then basically, this is where, um, so mine's already installed on this computer, but basically you'll just click install here. You can select different options. If you want to not install content libraries, uh, you can kind of remove this stuff, but for the, you know, if you've got plenty of space on your computer, no problem. Okay, don't worry about uh, the unchecking anything. So just go ahead and click install, and then just click next and follow it all the way through. Okay. All right, so once it's installed, okay, so once it's installed, then we get to our, um, then, then basically on your desktop, you should have these two icons. The install will take quite a while, you know, it can take up to 20, 30 minutes even. Um, it might be quicker on a faster computer, but be prepared to wait. So, okay, so then on our first run, we're gonna have to put in our licensing information. So we're gonna double click the icon for Autodesk uh, Inventor Professional. Okay, and the, pro and the program will load up. And basically, until you put in a light, some licensing information, you will get this initial lag screen, okay? And this is really where, uh, where people kind of go off the rails with the free education version. So, so you don't want to start trial or subscribe now. You already have a license because it's been given to you by Autodesk, right? So, so we click already have license. Okay, and then what we're going to do is that, uh, um, you know, there's a couple ways to run it. So basically a, a network license would be where you had a license for like a whole school or classroom and you might have to, you know, get a license, right? Otherwise, you're going to enter serial numbers. So the way that we did it, we're going to enter the serial number. So click select. Okay, it can take a minute um, and you have to be connected to the network for this. Okay, so go ahead and click I agree. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to license activation, click activate. Okay, and here we get it. So so this is the this is the serial number that you should have gotten. So let's go back and take a look at that screen, like where to find it. 
Okay, and to find this serial number, we're just gonna go back to the same page. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So basically, you just go back to exactly where you uh, where you downloaded the software from. So notice that uh, here you just select the same product again. You know this might be a while. You might not still have the page loaded because it's been a while. Just select the same product, same operating system, same language, and then basically your serial number and product key will be listed here. And you just need to go ahead and type that in uh, into the serial number and then next. Okay, we have uh, typed in our serial number. We've clicked activate. Basically, it ha you have to be connected to the network for that to happen. And then that's it. You're gonna go ahead and click finished and you have now installed and activated uh, Inventor 2021. Uh, best of luck.